In this video, I'm going to look at five expiry dated apparitions of Our Lady. By that I mean five apparitions of Our Lady or purported apparitions of Our Lady in which there's a factor in the apparition, some kind of prophecy, which allows us to put an expiry date on the apparition, a deal breaker, something that will tell us with certainty whether the apparition is true or false. Certain apparitions have expiry dates built into them. They're either going to be shown to be true or false by that deadline. I'm going to look at five of those in this video. Medjugorje has an expiry date in the form of Father Peter Ubicic. We have been told that when all of the, the ten secrets of Medjugorje have been delivered to all of the children, now grown adults, at that point, I want to get this right, at that point, Miriana it will take a piece of paper that she has previously received from Our Lady and write out the ten secrets and she will hand them to Father Peter Ubicic. And then Father Peter Ubicic will pray and fast a certain number of days along with Miriana and then together they will release the secrets to the world. I think that's that's right. I think more or less that's chronology but even if I've got it slightly incorrect Father Peter Ubicic is definitely a part of this. In fact, in one of the messages of Our Lady to the grown adult children, she explained that, yes, she has a very special role for him. It was Miriana herself, herself that got to choose this priest. Uh, she chose him and Our Lady has confirmed the choice and it's definitely going to be to this priest that the secrets are handed to. Miriana even explains she even suggests Our Lady's hand in the fact that she didn't choose the obvious candidate, Father Slavko, to give the ten secrets to at the, at the, at the auspicious moment because Father Slavko passed away. And that explains why Our Lady approved the choice of Father Peter Ubicic. But even though uh, Father Slavko died a long time ago and Father Peter Ubicic is still with us, he is now currently age 75. I did a little bit of research. He's age 75. So Medjugorje has got an expiry date. Father Peter Ubicic, on the day of his death, and may God give him a, a long and happy life, but on the day of his death, we will know if Medjugorje is a true or false apparition. Because if he's died and, and we haven't had those 10 secrets yet, then Medjugorje will be proven to be a false apparition. So for the second one, in a way, this is cheating because the apparitions of Stefano Gobi have indeed already passed their expiry date, according to his own prophecies, because back in the 1980s, our Blessed Mother is said to have revealed to him that the second coming was going to occur before the year 2000. This is what Our Lady is uh, said to have told uh, Father Gobi. I, Mary, confirm to you that by the great jubilee of the year 2000, there will have, will have taken place the triumph of my Immaculate Heart, which I foretold you at Fatima. And this will come to pass with the return of Jesus in glory to establish his reign in the world. Thus, you will at last be able to see with your own eyes the new heavens and the new earth. So Our Lady said that to Father Stefano Gobi and the year 2000 came and it went and the reign of Christ did not begin on earth. Added to that, Father Stefano Gobi has since passed away. So the promise that he would see with his own eyes the reign of God on earth that also has not come to fruition. And finally, if those expiring dates aren't enough, there's also the fact that Our Lady told Stefano Gobi, Father Stefano, that she was appearing in Medjugorje. So if Medjugorje is proven to be false um, by the death of Father Peter Ubicic, then Father Gobi's apparitions on top of the other things will also 
be proven to be false. For the next one, you may be thinking, who is this man, John Leary? Well, he is an American, I think he's an American prophet, or he calls himself a prophet, who's been around for quite a long time. So much so that there are websites on GeoCities about him. That is, websites that people made, um, amateur websites, that were made back in the 90s, in the early days of the internet, um, where people put up their own things on the internet, uh, their own uh, personal websites. And you can look at archives of these personal websites. And on some of these personal websites, you can see some of the prophecies of John Leary, back in the 90s and probably you won't find these messages on his current swish looking website but back in the 90s he informed us that John Paul II was going to be uh, booted out of the Vatican he was going to have to flee from the Vatican as an anti-pope would enter into the Vatican and there would be two popes John Paul II and an anti-pope and John Paul II would be killed and the anti-pope would reign as pope. Now, this didn't happen. This didn't happen. John Paul II didn't have to flee from the Vatican. He didn't die in exile. And there wasn't an anti-pope reigning in Rome during the pontificate of John Paul II. Therefore, John Leary has already passed his expiry date. And yet he continues as a prophet, apparently, to this day. Okay, so this one's a tiny bit more controversial and some of you may disagree with me. The apparitions of Our Lady at Fatima seem to have some kind of expiry date. I'm not denying Our Lady appeared there. I'm not denying the miracle of the sun. These things can't be denied. They're, they're facts. But what can be questioned is perhaps some of the words that Sister Lucy attributed to Our Lady regarding the conversion of Russia and the period of peace given to the world. Our Lady says to Sister Lucy, I will come to request the consecration of Russia to my Immaculate Heart. She says that at Fatima. And then later on um, in Pontevedra, Our Lady actually requests the consecration of Russia to the Immaculate Heart. Um, so not even at Fatima, really. But actually, earlier in Fatima, going back to Fatima, in July, Our Lady has said to Sister Lucy that in the end, my Immaculate Heart will triumph, Russia will be converted, and a period of peace will be given to the world. Okay, so where's the expiry date in this? The expiry date is either you accept that the consecration of Russia has happened, why hasn't Russia been converted? Why hasn't a period of peace been given to the world? I know some people say the conversion of Russia is Russia leaving communism, but that doesn't really add up because conversion can only normally refer to a religious thing. That, that's what the word conversion means. It means religious change. And Russia hasn't converted to the Catholic faith, even to the schismatic Orthodox faith. It hasn't converted. It's still a country with huge numbers of abortions, huge number of contraception, huge alcoholism problems, a tiny birth rate. It can hardly be described as having been converted. And furthermore, there hasn't been a period of peace since 1990 or that date where about Russia left communism. There hasn't been a period of peace in the world. There's been loads of wars. There's been loads of terrorism. We haven't had a period of peace. So let's now imagine a, another situation where all the bishops do gather together uh, according to Father Gruner's specifications of how Russia must be consecrated. And then... The consecration is done correctly with all the bishops in union with the Pope. And then there's no conversion of Russia and no period of peace given to the world. That would seem to me to be an expiry date for the Fatima apparitions or this aspect of the Fatima apparitions. And we could still say, well, maybe this was conditional. Maybe this was all meant to be done before 1960, you know. We could, we could go into all kinds of conversations as to why Russia was not converted. But there does seem to be an expiry date. There's a test. There's a proof 
for this aspect of the Fatima apparitions. Maybe it will be put, the test, put to the test one day by a courageous Pope who truly gathers together all the bishops and consecrates Russia explicitly to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart. Okay, so saving the most obvious one perhaps till last, but it's also the one that um, that has the most evident expiry date because there's no getting around this one. At the apparitions, the purported apparitions of Our Lady at Garabandal, there's this whole thing of miracle warning chastisement that we have been told is going to occur. And added to this is the promise that Conchita, eight days before the miracle, is going to announce it to the world. So the warning will have happened by then. So you wonder if the warnings happen by then, will we need an announcement? I don't know. Uh, you know, this huge warning would have taken place. Everyone would have seen the state of their soul before God. But maybe some people will say, well, maybe the warning is going to happen just before the miracle within those eight days. And so maybe it won't have happened when Conchita announces that the miracle is going to take place. But anyway, Conchita is going to announce the miracle will take place and she's going to say it eight days beforehand so you have a chance to get to the pines of Garabandal so you'll be able to witness that miracle and you can bring your sick with you, you can bring your atheist friends with you if there are any left after the warning um, and then they will, many of them will be converted as a result of the miracle. Most people will be converted as a result of the miracle even though we'll have only had the warning probably not too long previously, or maybe the warning is going to happen like tomorrow. And then the miracle is going to happen in five years time when the effects of the warning will have somehow paled off. But anyway, time's running out because Conchita is in 2021 going to turn 71. She's going to become 71 this year. So again, we've got an expiry day on the whole Garabandal phenomenon, or at least this aspect of the Garabandal phenomenon, the locutions to Conchita and uh, some of the things Our Lady is purported to have said to her outside of the two principal messages and outside of the, you know, the, the facts of Garabandal, the ecstatic trances, the night vigils, those things are, are, are perhaps different. But in terms of the message and this idea of miracle warning chastisement, this whole thing will be disproved and the whole warning obsession will be completely thrown out the window with the death of Conchita, because all of the seers out there are kind of hanging their little piece on Conchita's warning, Conchita's miracle, Conchita's warning. And so when the day comes for Conchita to depart, to depart from this world to the next, we'll know with certainty if this whole thing has been a complete blind alley and we'll be able to leave this behind. But maybe, maybe in God's providence, all of these things will take place. And we will know that Garabandal was a true apparition and that everything Conchita has said about the miracle, the warning and the chastisement was true. So that those are five apparitions, modern day apparitions with an evident expiry date to them. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed making it. And if you have enjoyed it, Think about subscribing to the channel and putting comments down below so that the channel can grow because there aren't many channels looking at apparitions like this. And may God bless you and Our Lady intercede for you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.